you're somebody who was rejected because they didn't get the grades this is the um I think this is one of the commonest reasons why people are rejected is not having the grades that they need. Then you have, um, I guess, a few options. You can either um, take a gap year and redo your A-levels during that year. So something that I call an A3 year. Redo your A-levels and then apply to medical school during that year for next year. Um, so obviously you need to work hard, you need to get better grades than you got the first time around um, and then you can apply again. Um, the thing that you have to bear in mind if you take this option is that you need to have achieved a minimum set of grades at the end of year 13 in order to be accepted after doing an A3 year. So for example, say the University of... Um, I don't know, wherever, um, you want to apply to them after having done your A-levels in three years instead of having done it in two years. They will specify that at the end of two years of A-level, you need to have achieved at least BBB. If you're somebody who didn't achieve BBB by the end of year 13, then you can't apply to that university. It's as simple as that. It doesn't matter uh, whether you achieve you know three A stars during your A3 year, the fact that you didn't achieve BBB the first time round means that you can't apply to to that university to do um, um, you know a foundation year course or the normal course, whatever. Even if you get the three A stars after having done the three years of A level, so you need to make sure that you've achieved at least the minimum grades that are required. Um, and then you can consider doing an A3 year. If you're somebody who hasn't achieved the minimum grades that are required, then my advice would be to take a gap year and apply for the foundation year course if you're not interested in doing, well, if you're not interested in doing an A3 year or if you can't do an A3 year, then apply for the foundation, foundation year course. The thing about foundation year course is this. There are very few universities that have a foundation year course, that's the first thing. The second thing is, within those universities, there are not very many places for students to do the foundation year course in medicine. Um, some universities have as, as little as 10 spaces for people to do a foundation year course in medicine. So you think the usual A100 course is competitive, this is even ridiculously competitive because there are a lot more people that don't get into medical school because of poor grades than there are people that don't get into medical school because they have everything. Um, so these spaces are really, 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 really well sought after. Um, so you need to, um, re to be really, really um, competitive. God, I say really a lot. But you need to be... Um, really good you need to be really good on paper um yes you didn't get the grades but you need all the other specifics that i've mentioned in other previous videos um you can go check them out um i'll put links in the description bar and things um you need to be good otherwise in order to be accepted because if there are only 10 places um you know it, it's more competitive um, so that's that's an option for you. So you can either do an A3 year, redo your A levels, and then apply, but you need the basic minimum grades at the end of, year, at the end of year 13. Or if you don't have the grades at the end of year 13, then you can apply for the foundation year course. Again, you have to take a gap here um, to do this. 